سیشن سکسٹی سیون سور فاتحہ دا قرآن سمرائزڈ اوز باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وی بگن وی دا نیم آف گاڈ ہو از موسٹ گریشس اینڈ مرسیفل نام دو نسلی اللہ رسول کریم اینڈ وی بگن وتھ بلیسنگز آن پروفٹ محمد پیس بی اپون ہیم دا لاسٹ اینڈ فائنل پروفٹ Now in Surah Fatiha, we are on verse 5. Eidina Sirat al-Mustaqeem. Show us or put us on the right path. Jabir Razila Tano stated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Cursed is the one who takes interest. The one who pays interest, the one who, uh, the one who pre uh, prepares the deed on the transaction, transaction, transaction of interest and the witnesses. They are all equally sinful, though the degree of their participation may be more or less apparently. I repeat, Javar Azizullah stated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Cursed is the one who takes interest, the one who pays interest, and the one who prepares the deed on the transaction, transaction of interest and the witnesses. They are all equally sinful, though the degree of their participation may be more or less apparently. Bukhari, Muslim. One of four, Surah Al-Humaza, verse five. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَلْ حُتَمَا And how do you perceive what that crushing one, the alarming Hutama, is? Hutama is a portion of hell especially prepared for the bloodsuckers, those who try to try extract, extract as much money as possible from other individuals, communities, nations, and societies, even if it necessitates genocide, wars, all become fair in economic struggle. They definitely deserve the worst of all punishments for being the foremost violators of human rights. So accordingly, you cannot ever imagine the state of the hell. So accordingly, you cannot ever imagine the state of this hell. Meant for such goddamn, accursed scoundrels, its fire endoscopes incises the human body. They'll be scourged by their love for wealth, always be on their last gasp but they shall die no more. Contrition, repentance for having been wrong shall be of no use in that fire. Allah had endued a very analytic, analytical, sharp mind. They frittered away valuable life in frivolities. Thus, their efforts couldn't fructify in the shape of eternal pleasures, eternal pleasures, luxuries, and comforts. They have to frizzle, roast irredeemably in the fire of hell. Utba bin Malik Razilatallahu, one of the Prophet's companions from Medina, who participated in the Battle of Badr, one after Hijrah, or 622 AD, states that once he went to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and submitted, there is a change in my eyesight. Eyesight, it's gone weak. And I led, I led the prayers among my people. So when it rains, and, and, and I lead the prayers among my people, so when it rains, uh, rains and the drain which falls between me and my people is flooded, I can't go up to their mosque to lead their prayers. And, O Prophet of Allah, I desire 
that you should kindly come to my place and offer prayers in my house, that I can establish it as a permanent location for offering prayers. It is stated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Allah be willing, inshallah, I shall do so. Utba Razilatana states that the very next day, when it was bright daylight, the Prophet, peace be upon him, and Abu Bakr Razil Sadiq Razilatala Anos, Ano, arrived at my place, and the Prophet sought permission to enter. I permitted them. When he entered, he asked me, which place exactly do you like in your house that I may offer prayers there? He states that I pointed to a place towards one of the sides in my house. Thus, the Prophet, peace be upon him, stood there and said, Allahu Akbar, Allah is great, and began the prayers, and we also stood behind him to offer prayers in a row. Then offered two rakats and ended the prayers with salam. The Prophet then offered two rakats and enter, ended the prayers with salam. Utba says that we held him for a, a little while to take uh, khazira, a special dish of mutton and flour. And getting the news of the Prophet's arrivals, some people of the locality also joined him in the meals. Thus, one of them inquired, Where is uh, Malik bin Vakeshun, Vakeshun or Ibn Vakeshun? And one of these very people replied that he is a hypocrite and doesn't love Allah and his Prophet. Then the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Don't say this. Don't you see that he believes in La ilaha illallah? There is no Allah but him and desires the pleasure of Allah from it. That person said that Allah and his Prophet have better knowledge. We just see his inclination and leanings towards the hypocrites. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Definitely, Allah, the most honored, has forbidden the fire of hell to touch the person who has said, La ilaha illallah, there is no Allah but him, with all his sincerity. And he, he has said this with all this sincerity, and he intends to seek only the pleasure of Allah, Allah Ta'ala, and no other motive through this kalima that is La ilaha illallah, Bukhari, Muslim, Marful Quran. Ans bin Malik Razillah Ta'ala stated that the Prophet addressed Maz bin Jabal we, uh, while he was riding the same camel behind the Prophet, peace be upon him, and said, O Maz, he replied, I am here, O Prophet of Allah, and may you be blessed. The Prophet said, O Maz, he submitted, I am present, O Prophet of Allah, and may you be blessed. The Prophet said again, O Maz, he submitted, I am here, O Prophet of Allah, and may you be blessed. This happened thrice. Then the Prophet said, after the third time, whoever, whosoever gives shahada confirms with all the sincerity of his heart that there is no that is none there is none other than Allah worthy of worship obedience subservience and that Muhammad is his prophet that Muhammad is and that Muhammad is his prophet Allah has made such a person haram on hell he'll never go to hell Maz Razirullah Ta'ala stated, Shouldn't I inform of this to the people that they become happy? The Prophet said that then they'll rely on it only, in, on it totally. Then Maz informed the people of this hadith before his death that he may be saved of the sin of hiding, denying knowledge. Bukhari, Muslim, Marful Hadith. 
Abu Huraira Razila Ta'ala Anno state, stated that once the Prophet was sitting in a garden in the vicinity of Medina, when he, that is Abu Huraira, approached him, the Prophet inquired, What for have you come? I submitted, O Prophet of Allah, you were sitting among us, and then you left that place, and when, we, when you didn't return for quite some time, we feared that being away from us, you may be put to some trouble or harm. This fear shook us and we started moving and I was the first to come because of this fear till I reached this garden. And when I could find no entrance, I squeezed myself like a fox and crawled through this hole in the wall and other people are following me. Then the Prophet, peace be upon him, handed me his pair of chapels, sandals, open shoes with straps, and said, Take these, my shoes, and leaving this garden, whoever meets you, gives shahada, confirms, vouches through the core of his heart that there is no God but Allah, give him the glad tidings of heaven. Abu Huraira Razila Tana states that when I left the place, the first person I met was Umar Razila Tala. He inquired, Abu Huraira, how, why are you carrying these two sandals? I replied, these are the sandals, the sacred sandals of the Prophet. He has sent me with these that whosoever I meet who gives the shahada confirms, vouches through the core of his heart, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, there is no God but Allah, I should give him the glad tidings of heaven. Ubu Hera states, Then Umar Razilatana hit me with his hand and that I fell down on my hips, and he said, Go back. I wept and returned to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and Umar also followed me. The Prophet, seeing me thus, inquired, Abu Huraira, what happened to you? I submitted, Umar met me. I informed him of the precise message you had given me, then he hit me with such a blow that I fell back and my hips on my hips, and he told me to go back. The Prophet, peace be upon him, addressing Umar, uh, addressing Umar inquired, Why have you done so? He, Umar, submitted, May my parents be sacrificed on you. Did you send Abu Huraira with your sandals? along with the message that whosoever he meets who gives the shahada confirms, vouches that there is no God but him, he should give him the glad tidings of heaven. The Prophet said, Yes, it was myself who sent him with this message. Umar Razila Ta'ala submitted, O oh, most respectful, please don't do so. I fear that people relying totally on this, on this good news, don't, um, that good news would discontinue pious deeds, efforts, may just sit back. So let them perform as they are doing. So let them perform as they are doing. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, then leave it. Muslim, Mariful Hadith. Abu Zar Ghaffari stated that one day when I came to the presence of the Prophet, he was asleep with a white sort of a bedsheet over him. Then after a little while, I returned to him again, and at that time, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Whoever, man or woman, says, La ilaha illallah, there is no God, but him, then dies in this state, so he'll go to the heaven, definitely. 
Abu Zar Razila Ta'ala states that I submitted to him even if he has committed adultery and even if he has committed theft. The Prophet replied, Yes, even if he has committed adultery, adultery and even if he has committed theft. Abu Zar states, I repeat it once again, even if he has committed adultery, even if he has committed theft, he said once again, yes, even if he has committed adultery, even if he has committed theft. Abu Zar states, I stated once again, one who gives shahada vouches, confirms la ilaha illallah, there is no God but him, he'll definitely go to heaven, even if he has committed theft. The Prophet repeated, peace be repeated, yes, even if, if Abu Zar thinks it's, an, it's an inappropriate, it will inevitably be the case. He'll go to heaven. The Prophet repeated, yes, even if Abu Zar thinks it inappropriate, it will inev inevitably be the case. He'll go to heaven. Even if he has committed adultery, even if he has committed theft. Bukhari, Muslim, Marful Quran. The last uh, uh, hadith, uh, Ubadah bin Samit, uh, Samit Razila Tana stated that I have heard the Prophet, peace be upon him myself, the Prophet used to say, whoever gives shahada, vouches, confirms that there is none worthy of worship, obedience, subservience other than Allah and Muhammad is his prophet, last and final, Allah has made that person haram, untouchable for the fire of hell. Muslim, Mariful Hadith. That's all for today. Please pray for me, ex-brigadier Mustansar Billah.